do you think that sh IBD patients should should they use NSAIDs to treat their symptoms? We talked a little bit about this earlier, but what's your opinion on that? So, you know, I know a lot of us um, have probably a bottle of ibuprofen somewhere in our house that we've taken for aches and pains. Um, you know, the, the, the concern that was raised with ibuprofen, I think, is twofold in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. One is, is that, you know, and this goes back many, many years, is that we know that when patients have inflammatory bowel disease, that taking NSAIDs, so these are drugs like ibuprofen or uh, naproxen, for the common trade names would be things like Motrin, Aleve, Advil. Um, you know, so it, these drugs have been associated with an increased risk of developing more symptoms or flares when patients have inflammatory bowel disease. And so we often have generally discouraged our patients who have inflammatory bowel disease, who have Crohn's disease or colitis, um, to avoid using these medications in general. Now, I know probably all of us make exceptions to what we've been told. And I'm, I'm guessing even though maybe your doctors might have told you this at some point, you've probably had a very bad flu or a cold at some point and taken ibuprofen or take, taken Advil or Aleve or had a, an injury and used it. The concern was raised is that in one of the early studies done on patients with COVID, they found a higher rate <clears throat> of NSAID use, of use of these medications in patients who had more severe illness. Now, we don't know if the NSAIDs caused the more severe illness. It's possible that people with more severe illness took more NSAIDs because they were feeling worse. So we don't know which way that association goes. But in the meantime, until we have more knowledge about this, we are still discouraging patients from using these medications. Our preference is that use Tylenol, also known as acetaminophen, if you're having aches and pains, and to avoid using them, if at all, uh, if at all you can. We may learn in the future that it's not as big a deal. You know, right now the World Health Organization today issued a statement that they don't believe the association is real, but they're still waiting for more data. But I think even with your IBD, all the more reason to avoid it.